Let's go. Over and over. Should we go to Starbucks? Yeah, I'm hungry. We are going to Folsom, California right now. Spent the night in Sacramento. I know I say a lot of bad things about a lot of places we go, but I like Sacramento. I don't think it's all that bad. It's definitely underrated. We're spending the next two nights here, which is kind of nice, in the same place. Airbnb 707 for this trip. I'm sick of moving. Heading out to Folsom. We're gonna spend the day with Independent. They're a big uh, earth moving contractor out here slash equipment rental company. They're very well known for their big scrapers. And they just have big iron across the board. So I think we're gonna see some big excavators, big trucks, some brand new scrapers today, I think. Should be a really damn good day. A lot of really just good California dirt. They do dirt differently out here. They move a lot of it for just about everything. I think we're going to see subdivisions, which is really the main earth moving attraction these days here. So we're gonna see what that looks like today. I'll go from there. This is a dirt spread. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Good napkins anywhere? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> that is what we are here to see. I'll just park down here and walk up. Just be really, really careful around here with these trucks. <laughs> Another job site? Well, I didn't explain this one, did I? 
Nope. So we're out on the Folsom. Oh. What did it reverse, Tim? Reverse, reverse. Out on the Folsom Ranch project in Folsom, California with independent construction today. What you just saw or are about to see, depending on how Matt puts the video together, were some 390s hogging dirt, mostly rock on this job. So independent, they have a really big fleet of scrapers and they love to use them whenever possible. But this job, mostly rock. And this is all grading for residential homes, big old subdivision out here in Folsom. So that's why they went with the 390s and I think 773s, maybe 775s. I don't know, I forget what truck's there. I think it was 775s. So, rock job, blasting, 390s. Now, we're headed to the scraper dirt job about 10 minutes away. And he said they're running 57s and they have brand new 637Ks, which are beautiful scrapers. I just saw two in Arizona at Caterpillars, Tanaha Hills. Beautiful machines, excited to see them. So, pretty stoked to see some scrapers because I haven't seen a whole lot this trip which is odd because I'm in California. So let's go see some scrapers. Psych 2. Scrapers. Oh, really? Six fifty-seven push-pull scrapers, twin engine, engine in the front, engine in the back. While the first one's loading, the second one's pushing it. Once the first one's done, picks up the can, pulls the second one through the cut as it loads itself. Matt will get some footage of that, right, Matt? Yep. He'll get some footage of that so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. These are all 657 NGs because they're repowered E models. So they were originally 657. E scrapers. Now they are repowered, which means they don't just have an engine, they have engine plus emissions now. So they're tier four compliant, which is a big thing in California after the year is, it's like 2023, I think it is. You need to have a fleet average of so many tier four powered machines per horse. I don't know, it's some ridiculous government regulation, but scraper companies like Independent, have gone through and repowered a lot of their big scrapers over the past few years, most of their 657s, in preparation for these tier four requirements coming in a few years. So that is why they are repowered. So they have brand new engines in them and can in theory get quite a few more thousand hours out of the same machine rather than going and buying a new machine for a ridiculous amount of money since new 657Ks are very, very expensive. So that's what we have going here. Pretty cool. Update, we just checked out that scraper job, a few 657s running, nothing too crazy, but it's just funny that they use 657s for anything out here. So that was neat. Had a call, financial call that I forgot about. That was kind of important. Yeah, I think the problem is Matt. So I took that while we were sitting out there. Now we have our 401k kickoff call. We're kicking off our 401k program for our business. Super exciting, so we need to get on that real quick. We're gonna go to Whole Foods, grab some lunch, super fast. And then we are gonna head back to the 390s that we were at this morning to see what they're up to because we were gonna go to other jobs, but everything's a little slow today for 
various reasons. That's just how the industry is. If I got bent out of shape every time things didn't go as planned, I would just hate life. So I don't get bent out of shape anymore. So bummer we couldn't see anything else, but this is what's best. So we're gonna go, I mean, it's a, bu it's a bummer we have to go back and spend more time with 390s, which it could be worse. So we're gonna go see what they're doing after that. If they're doing anything cool, we'll check them out. If not, we're gonna head home and catch up on work because we have a lot to catch up on. So that's the plan for today. And then we have a pretty good game plan for tomorrow with Goodfellow, so stay tuned for that. Tomorrow should be a pretty good day. So that's what I'm up to right now. And with that, we're gonna park and get on this 401k call. Super exciting stuff. It actually is exciting, but not to you. Look at that. Two 390s in the same cut. 